God, the music in this game slaps, dude. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Well, sort of welcome back. So, let me give you the 411 on this very quickly. As you may be able to tell from the top right, this game is not currently finished. It's in early access. However, I do believe it's very nearly done. Uh, the last time I played this... Uh, how do I phrase this? I believe there's been two major updates since the last time I played this, like two new areas with new bosses, etc. By the way, if you haven't seen my Rogue Legacy 1 playthroughs on the channel, I highly recommend them, especially if you enjoy this. It's a little bit like The Binding of Isaac in the sense that it's randomized and stuff like that, uh, but it's side-on, sort of, you know, you, you run around with a sword, or in the case of this game, spears, swords, magic, bows, that type of thing. I'll explain as we're going along. Before I forget... I want to give a shout out to Stefan. He is my number one fan. He's the son of a guy I work with named Peter. Hello, Peter, as well. I don't normally do shout outs, but when you're six years old and my number one fan, you know, you, uh, you, uh, you get the exception there. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, Stefan. Thank you. You are awesome. I met him as well. Nice kid. All right, so let's jump in. The Dragon's Vow. I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to be very, very rusty, by the way. Very rusty. We're going to make a new profile. Because why wouldn't we? I guess we're going to be on slot three. Start new legacy. So it's called Rogue Legacy because basically you play as a person. And then when you die, you pick one of their descendants. The time has passed and they have not returned. The estuaries have decayed. The kingdom demands deliverance. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. <laughs> <laughs> Deliver! Finish it! Finish it! Evil! Sign the contract, and your children shall succeed you. Yes, your children, your heirs, have uh, randomized traits. So, some of them are good traits, some of them are bad. You know, uh, in the first game, I think one of them was peripheral arterial disease, aka pad, that's my goddamn controller disconnecting. Once you cast off, and that means you could walk on spikes without, uh, or the spike traps without getting spiked, there is no turning back. Because I believe pad means you don't have a foot pulse. I don't know, something like that. It's, it's a very wacky game, very silly sense of humor in many ways, but also friggin' awesome. I really like the art style, personally. I know some people don't. Personally, I love the art style of the the scenery and stuff like that. Not too like it doesn't really bother me, but I'm not I'm not hugely keen on the character art as much as the environments. They look a bit mobile gamey to me. As con isn't there like a secret around here somewhere? Oh my! What do you mean no mana? Oh, I do have no mana. Touche. I don't know why I have no mana. Maybe uh, well, I'm sure we're gonna pick up a mana bottle and they'll be like, this is how you use mana. Anyway, you get, like, uh, dodges. It, it, so there's a class that has, like, a dodge roll with iframes, you know, straight up, like, a Dark Souls sort of dodge roll kind of thing. Uh, this class doesn't. We have a dash. You've got, like, uh, well, we don't have the double jump or anything yet, but I go... Oh, Jesus! I guess you start with the dash. There we go. We've got mana. Nice. You can bounce on these things. Yes, we know that. You can break these. Lovely. Uh, so, from what I recall... Basically, you had to complete, and again, I'm, I'm sure it hasn't changed too much in, in the sense of uh, the progression, but I know there's been a lot of different balance changes and stuff, which is very cool, and I'm interested to see how that's changed since the last time I played it, which was literally months ago. But um, yeah, so for example, well, they actually want me to damage, like, damage boost up here with a flip. Interesting. That's... That's weird. Um, yeah, anyway, so uh, basically to unlock like the double jump, or at least I think the double jump, certain abilities you had to unlock uh, by doing like a challenge, which was different to the boss. I'm not going to bother reading most of these journals. I don't care too much about the story, and you could always pause the video and read it if you do care. But I, I, you know, I'll, I'll read the, uh, the more important ones, but I'm not going to read that one because it's the tutorial. I'll read the ones pertaining to the bosses, because that's really where the uh, the story is. Those are the estuaries, by the way. If you hear the word estuaries, it basically means the bosses. I don't really know what estuaries means, I won't lie to you. I thought it was like something to do with a river. Which I, it still might be. Secret wall. It still might be, but um, 
Yeah, I, I guess it means like a uh, leader in some kind of respect. I don't know. Maybe I'll Google it. Or maybe I won't. All right, so I believe that was our tutorial. And this is where we die very quickly. Now, there's a risk level down there. Fascinating. That's new. So these are teleporter pads. When we find a new teleporter pad, we can teleport between them. But at the moment, this is the only one we've got. So this is where the final boss is going to be. Obviously, he's not yet there now because the game is not finished yet. I believe every time you kill an estuary, you fill in one of these paintings. I want to say the last time I played, there were three or four estuaries. There is five paintings. So... The I'm going to hazard a guess. There's going to be five bosses. If you look up at the top left, basically, we've got our weapon. We've got our Y button ability, which in the case of the knight, which is what I think we are, there's somewhere you can look at your hero. Yes, the knight. We have a block. Don't really care about that. Probably won't be using it very often. Unless we get, like, pinned in a corner and, like, a projectile is coming at me and I can't dodge it, then I'll try and remember to use the shield. And then, obviously, we've got our, our fireball. So your... Your Y button ability per class is always going to be the same. So if you're a knight, you're always going to have the shield there. However, at least I think so, unless I've changed that. The uh, the magic spell will be randomized. So sometimes we could be a knight with a fireball. Sometimes we could be a knight with a completely different magic spell. At least, I believe so. The white sort of fire symbol up there that says 200%. I don't remember what that does. I think that's got something to do with rare drops or power-ups because there's like power-ups you can pick up a little bit like the Binding of Isaac, I don't really remember. And then we've got our level. You'll see when we die how the leveling system works. There's not much point in me explaining that until we get there. Alright, so this is the sort of thing I will actually read. You hear a thousand whispers but can't make out a voice. Alright then, I'm glad I read that. That was, that was so much information. Oh, the lore. I can feel it flowing through my veins, man. I just, I hate you. I hate you. Stupid eyeball demon. All right. <laughs> so yeah, these rooms that we go in, uh, from my understanding, much like the Binding of Isaac, they're handcrafted in the sense that, you know, whoever made these rooms made them by hand. The room itself is not randomized per se. The, the order in which you find them and the chance of finding them is randomized. So for example, there might be 20, 30 rooms in the castle here or the citadel, whatever we're in, the citadel. There might be like 30 rooms. We could find 30 completely different rooms, or we could find... We could go through this uh, 30 rooms, and we might find five of them that we've already seen before on the last time we died. It really... You know, it's it's it, much like the Binding of Isaac. Sometimes you're going to run into rooms that you recognize. So this, we can take it to restore our health and mana. Hang on. Oh, it's not a full heal. Because we have 200 HP, that only gives you 75. Now we don't need 75, we only need 25, but... Uh, yeah, in this one, we take damage, but it increases our max HP, so risk-reward there. I'll think about that, but for now, I'm going to leave them both there. Okay, hold on. I can't... <laughs> can't do that. Can't do that and talk at the same time. Fireball! That's right, I'm killing a fire demon with a fireball. Get wrecked. Uh, so... There are mimics, I believe. However, unless I'm mistaken, much like the original Rogue Legacy... There shouldn't be any in the Citadel. There certainly wasn't before. Ah, yes, so the, this is a unique type of platform that you can see. It doesn't destroy itself until you jump. So there will be certain... There's some, there's some tricky platforming in this game, certainly compared to the first one. In the first game, the platforming was largely avoiding enemies hitting you. There's actually some proper platforming sections in this game. The ledger is old but carefully preserved. J, the rumors are true. It's not me, it's a different J. Uh, the rumors are true, the golden gates are real, and I found them. The gates will only open when all the estuaries have gathered together. Again, those are the bosses. I know I sound crazy, but I have a plan to save everyone, but I can't do it myself. I need your help and some people I can trust. See, this makes me laugh. As someone who has watched Men in Black, more times than I care to admit, especially the second movie, which is not very good at all. That is actually quite a bad movie. Um, you got Agent J, and then the leader of the Men in Black was Zed, or at least he was, you know, one of the one of the higher ups. So in my mind, Zed riding to J is, you know, Zed riding to Will Smith, and that's that's funny to me. And uh, even if you don't find it funny, I always will, because that that is how I will always read those. Oh my God! Okay, you know what? Maybe we go back for that 75 health now. <laughs> so I think sometimes from these chests you can find blueprints uh, for new weapons and armor, which is cool. However, uh, we didn't. They seem comparably rarer. 
than they are in the first game. The first game seems fairly easy to get blueprints. Not that it's hard in this one, uh, but they seem, they seem at least a tad rare. You're a thousand whispers, can't make out a voice. I think these have something to do with secrets. I think there's some kind of ability or something we need to be able to read that, but I don't really remember. Again, it's they've changed a lot of stuff since the last time I played it, plus it's been months. So I, I, I just don't recall. Can I not aim this fireball, like, manually? Does it only ever go in front of me? I guess so. Well, we don't need to waste it on that. Or him, because this man can do nothing to me. Blubbered. Okay, I just jumped straight into that. I'm bad. I'm bad. I like the dead bodies tier. It's very nice. So... I think the story of this is somewhat, and you're like, I, I don't really know, so don't, don't take this as gospel. But I think it's somewhat similar to the sort of Dark Souls thing in the sense that, like, you know, this place has been corrupted and everyone's dead, and the people that aren't dead are monsters, and you know, it's pretty standard, like, you know, fantasy fare. It's, it's not really a Dark Souls thing, obviously, but it's easy to compare it to Dark Souls because that's really the story of Dark Souls. Is you know, everything went to shit basically. What's that red up there? Why is there red? You see that? There's a red door. Oh my god, there's a red door. <laughs> that was so close, dude. Here, clobbered. He has been clobbered. Ow! I took my combs and walked in there twice. Why is this red? Oh, I guess this indicates this is one of the new areas. Well, I did. this area already existed. The Stygi Stygian? Stygian? One of the two. So, yes, this is a different kind of platform that. It's only where you are standing, so you can't just walk off of it like that. It's very interesting. Alright, we've got the teleporter pad at least. And yes, I'm breaking all the stuff in the scenery because you can get food out of that to heal with. So, as you may have noticed, pretty rare. Requires ether's wings. Okay. So, last time I played this, it did not tell you when somewhere required a new upgrade. I feel like this can be cheesed. Correct me if I'm wrong. I bet I could, like, especially if I had. Because you can get two dashes, right? So, at the moment, we've. At the moment, we've only got one, and we don't have the air dash either, actually. Though, maybe the air dash is actually an upgrade. So, in the first game, the the air dash was just... You kind of had it. Like, if you had the ground dash, you had the air dash. They, they were the same thing, essentially. I think the air dash in this is like a proper upgrade that you need to unlock. I think if we had the air dash, we could totally get over there. However, I keep booping my head on the roof here. Because if I could get up to that second chandelier, I think we'd be good. I... <sighs> So near yet so far. All right, we back, and I didn't get hit. Incredible. It merely gets hit. Nice. All right, hold on. Okay, those things do not go off. Oh, jeez. Anywhere near as often as I thought they did. See, I, I thought I had the air dash. So I tried to dash off of here, but like as I was falling, so I just fell because I did that. Yeah, that's what happened. Got to get used to that. Got to. It's one of those things when you play a video game, you have power-ups, even though it's been months, you know what I mean? Like, the, uh, it's built into your brain, right? Like, my brain thinks I have an air dash. Because last time I played, albeit months ago, I had an air dash. And now I don't. And it's something you've really got to get used to. I think those grow back. Oh, dear. Oh, did it ear. Oh, I guess they don't. What the? What is happening? Jesus, this room is horrible. You know what? Get burned. Two for one, today's special. Lovely. I don't like this. Uh, I don't think we really want to break these boxes. Yes, exactly. Loot. We don't have an air dash! <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> no, not the fireball. Okay, one more hit, we're dead. We can do this. Actually, I don't think we can do this. We totally can't do it. I think we need the air dash for this. Hang on. Can I make this? Nope. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think I don't think we could get to that without an air dash. Well, all right. Well, to be honest, we lasted longer than I thought we would, considering. Okay, so now we get to pick between one of three of our airs. However, they are all knights because we have only knights unlocked, and this is how the leveling system works. So first of all, let's pick a knight that has something we want. Flame barrier is actually a very good spell. White star is okay. I think shockwave is okay. Uh, as you see, all the question marks—they don't tell you what anything does until you've seen it once. And I don't remember what most of this does. So, I'm going to go with this. Though I feel like the CIP thing. Because in the little picture, he's got question marks above his head. This is going to be like a confusing thing, isn't it? Like, we, we, our map's not going to work or something. It's going to be bad, you can tell. Right, so you, can up, you have an estate. And you can upgrade the estate with money. 
We don't have a lot of money. However, a thousand for your first death is not horrible. Uh, traits now give gold modifiers. Okay, so I guess that's the first one we have to get. And you can see it upgrading. So now we can unlock the archery class. The ranger, at least the last time I played it, I'm playing on a controller, did not play very well in my opinion because it was kind of hard to aim the bow on the controller. On the keyboard, it's probably a lot better. But we have to... No, I would not. We have to unlock him anyway in order to unlock other stuff. Level 4. Huh. Your mana must be level 4 or higher. Fascinating. All right, so we can unlock the Enchantress and the Blacksmith. They do kind of what you think they would. The Enchantress can put runes in your gear to give you things like two dashes instead of one. At least I believe so, unless I'm mistaken. Or maybe I'm thinking of the first game. And the Blacksmith is where when you get a blueprint for a new sword or a piece of armor or something, which gives you more damage or more health. And, and some of them, like uh, the Blood Gear, lets you... Uh, it gives you like a vampirism effect so you you know you heal upon killing enemies and stuff like that uh dummy is a training dummy unlocks mastery rank i think that's good i think we probably want that i don't really remember what mastery rank is i won't lie fashion chambers oh increases your max weight capacity okay so let's get that you now gain mastery xp with each class gain enough xp to rank up and earn permanent stat bonuses yeah so i think basically just using a class long enough you know killing things and getting gold and what have you uh we will eventually say, say we deal with the ranger class we will eventually get uh i guess dexterity or whatever to upgrade our damage we'll get an hp upgrade all right can we unlock sand pits oh that's the name of the the area you're unlocking okay i thought the class was renamed sand pits no unlocks valkyries uh, i really like the valkyrie class the Barbarian is pretty good as well. It's really throwing me off. It says Butcher's Shop under Barbarian. My brain's like, why is the Barbarian called Butcher? I know it's not how it works, but my brain's still confused. Uh, or at least half of my brain. The other half understands. Anyway, so unlocks Mages, unlocks Valkyrie. All right, so how much money we got? Yeah, okay, so we can... Oh, the Mage is way cheaper than the Valkyrie. Lame. Lame. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Valkyrie. And I'm going to switch to the Valkyrie now, because the first time you unlock a new class, you can change your current class into that. Didn't really want to be a knight. And we actually kept Flame Barrier. Can't see your health. All right, we don't care too much about that. What is this? Uh, so I guess this is like patch notes. To be honest, can't be asked to read this. New Game Plus. Hmm. Why is there a New Game Plus when the final boss... Is the final boss in the game now? I don't think so. My hope, by the way, is that me starting this now, by the time I get to the final boss, it will actually be implemented. Because I think they're pretty damn close to being done. Uh, thanks for me... <laughs> Totally didn't trip over my words there. Uh, thanks for helping me build my black shop, kid. I ain't got a lot to my name, but I promise you your investment into this year blacksmithery will pay off wisely. I can't make much right now because I don't have any blueprints, but if you and me work together, boy, we can still make it some unimaginable things. And I mean that literally. Got to be some of that aphantasia. Can't see no pictures up, the, up in this noggin. That's why I need those blueprints. So here's the deal. You give me blueprints and I'll charge you money to make them. It's a win-win. I win because I get free blueprints. Then I win again because I get a customer. Now let's stop dilly dallying and let me show you what I've got in the back of this shop. Does he have anything right now? He has a helm which will give me plus two vitality. It costs 250 and we have 70. We can't afford that crappy helm. All right, good to know. And then the Enchantress... Ooh, Ducky, thank you so much for this extravagant tent. The ancient ca car flowing through it is so immense, it's making me dizzy. Just kidding, I saw the price tag. You suck. The only thing making me dizzy are the fumes from all the cleaning agents I had to use. Could you get a girl anything better? I don't really, not really a huge fan of the dialogue in this game. It's very hit and miss for me. Some of it's genuinely funny, and a lot of it's, like, kind of cringy. No offense. Uh, uh, no offense if you wrote this. Well, but beggars can't be choosers, so I've decided to not be poor anymore. Now let's talk about magic with a capital M for money. All right, I'm just going to skip this. So anyway, yes. Uh, apparently we do have at least one... No, we got two. Dose. We got dose runes unlocked initially. Well, we still have to pay to unlock them. Uh, so what does this one do? Increase the radius of which you pick up money. Of course, it's not going to be particularly good out of the bat. Uh, restore health for every enemy defeated. Scales with strength. Huh. Okay, so that's like a vampirism rune. That's actually a pretty good one. It costs 750, though. That's quite expensive. All right. Let's go back in. So the Valkyrie has this for an ability. You see, it's got a five cooldown. That's not five seconds. I believe that's either five hits or five enemies you have to defeat. I don't recall which of the two. But it destroys projectiles. So it's very, very good defensively. Also, this thing has a lot of range on this weapon, and you can attack up and down instead of just, you know, side to side like the knight. 
but god do i wish we had another dash like or like an air dash so this is sharon caron i it, someone told me how to pronounce it i mean by someone like eight different people but i don't remember i'm gonna say it's sharon but don't call me on that one must pay the toll uh, so you, at the moment we have to pay all of our gold, so you want to spend as much of it as you can before you go back in the castle. However, uh, you can get upgrades that let you keep a percentage of your gold, uh, so you can keep going through the castle and at least keep some of your money. But yes, generally speaking, at least at the beginning here, you want to be spending as much as you possibly can. They always drop food. They always, I've just burped, I'm sorry. Who the hell is that? They always drop food when you're full HP, man. Trust me, man. Let's look at the door. The throne room doors are currently sealed. Cool. I have, this is a new character. I don't know who this is. It looks cool, though. Nameless Knight. Why do I feel like this is a Dark Souls reference? So, you're the next in line to sign the contract. Everything in the name of duty, I presume. Never stopped to think of what you might be losing. Well, if you're looking for the treasure, you'll have to find the king's children first. Can't get through those doors, otherwise I've tried. Is this the crestfallen, crestfallen buddy from Dark Souls? Everything is Dark Souls, don't you know? Smashy, smashy, see, see. Now the castle is different, and we've got an entrance immediately into one of the other areas. Though again, we're going to need to get the upgrades. Look at the risk level. Good God. Yeah. So this is no. I've never seen the the fission dry lake. I guess that's how you pronounce it. It says fission. Did that not say fission when we walked in here? No, I said Pishin. Okay, uh, I'm just mildly dyslexic, apparently. Heading down to the deep below, be careful overconfidence can be lethal. Even estuaries won't venture any further without a sun lantern. So again, this is new. The sun lantern wasn't in the game last time. Neither was this area. Neither was this character. So this is all new to me. Not many of those lanterns are left, and the ones remaining lost their ember long ago. If you restore the sun, I can reignite the ember. We'll talk more soon. Fascinating. So we probably just die to darkness or something if we go down there right now. So let's... Let's not do that. In heavy air, he's my brother. I don't know why that song randomly comes into my head. So, as you may notice, this is exactly what I was talking about by having uh, good range on this character. I can just poke dudes right through the bloody wall. You can kind of do that with a regular sword, but it's much easier when you have a big ol' uh... Hallbird? I want to say this is a Hallbird. Uh, I keep trying to dash when I can't dash. Look at that. Knew that it was coming, used my ability, destroyed it. Lovely. Also, this. Oh, it doesn't have that much range, but yeah, we can hit through the wall with that as well. That's why it's a nice spell. I like it, big fan. Oh, good god. Oh, good god. <laughs> Alright, just just limit the... No oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. See, this is, this is why this class is good. It's actually just incredible. Big fan. One of my favorite classes. So I think there's, a, I want to say at least two new classes since the last time I played, so I'm looking forward to checking those out. Alright. Zed. The black roots keep growing, they're everywhere now. The guards continue to cut them down, but they keep growing back. I swear the land is reacting to our pain. The more people we lose, the thicker the black roots seem to grow. Sorry I've been missing our meetings at the Golden Gates. I don't know what the Golden Gates are. Were they in the game before? Probably. There was a big old bridge. The estuaries demand the impossible. They raise our work hours and they tax us incessantly. And when people complain, they are arrested. So many friends are gone, Jay. You have no idea what it's like over here. The kingdom has become a powder keg just waiting to explode and it's our job to light it. This is a once in a lifetime chance, Jay. We can do something. We can save everyone. Signed, Zed. Or Z, if you are a oh, from the Americas. I know that dude was going to shoot me. I mean, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't have let him shoot me. Silly. I can't remember if the, uh, the Y button ability on this... Well, you know what? Let's check it out. Does it do damage? It does. Okay. Not a lot. Not really worth using it for damage. And yeah, it's, it's hits. Not enemies killed. This chest is backwards. That's like some Bethesda logic right there. Bethesda love putting chests backwards. So this is where you get to pick between two different... Uh, upgrades. However, yes, okay. I was right. So that white flame in the top left that says 200% is your resolve. At least I believe so. So this would cost us 45. This would cost us 50. I do not know what either of these are. Longer than you, longer than me, the lotus flower will outlive us all. 
Maybe that lets you die and come back to life one time? Nyarf. <laughs> I feel like I gotta take that just based on it saying Narf. Uh, a primer on relics and resolve. Alright, I probably should read this. A, so that you can understand it. That's the first estuary there, by the way. Enoch. Uh, the first boss. Boss. Um, I probably should read this. Partly so that you understand it, and partly because they may have changed it since the last time. Relics are artifacts which grant powerful abilities to the user but require resolve to wield. Those stronger in resolve, 100% or more, have shown no physical or mental benefits in combat. Benefits? Uh, conversely, those lower in resolve, less than 100%, have displayed signs of ailing health. Wait a minute. So if you have more than 100%, you have no benefits in combat. If you have less than 100%, you have bad HP. How confusingly written. Anyway, so yes, if we have less than 100% resolve, our max health goes down, I think, is what that is telling me. Also, the amount of armor our soldiers wore drastically changed their resolve. The heavier the soldier, the less confident they were in their capabilities. Yes, so the tankier you are, the less resolve you have to spend on abilities. Perhaps we should send our soldiers out naked. Why not? I'll get... <coughs> Excuse me. I'll get this because it says Nyarf. It's also more expensive, so maybe it's better. Eating meat will, while at full health, will increase max HP by 10%. Max 6 stacks. That sounds actually kind of crap. <laughs> because first of all, I never find meat. Second of all, I'm never getting back to full HP. And third of all, you can only do it 6 times. I am thoroughly disappointed by that. Ah, oh, I tried to use my... That. That is so weird, the way that slows the game down. Oh, I dashed the wrong way. Ha! Ha! Okay, it's fine. We can't see our HP, right? Ooh, hey. Useful. I was gonna say, we never get meat. Plus, even if we do... Oh, that, that's weird. I guess those are black roots down there in the bottom left. I thought it was gonna attack me. It looked like someone's head. It looked like hair on a head. Tell me I'm wrong. Oh my god, oh my god. Didn't even know you were there. You scared the crap out of me. Yeet. Alright, beautiful. He's done it. Oof. That's a satisfying sound. Speaking of sounds, oh, this is like a challenge combat thing or something, I think. You know what? Screw it, we'll try. Probably gonna go bloody horribly. Also, what is that? What is that? I've never seen this thing before. I just completely wasted my deflect thing. You gotta remember as well, we're like basically as weak as we can be. Oh my god. You know what? Use that. That's better. Ooh, okay, I'll just sit there in the corner and die. <laughs> that went so bad. I can't stress enough. Not having the ability to dash in the air is so debilitating. I can't wait until we unlock that. When you can dash through the air, it makes evasion so much easier. My god. We probably should try a ranger. Maybe they're less crap than they used to be. You know what? We will try a ranger. He's got fungal spread. No idea what that is. But we will try the range in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching episode one. Please, if you enjoy... Oh, you know what? Then, yeah, we'll start next episode by doing the uh, the spendage. I think we can just walk to the left to spend money. Yeah, we can. So we'll do all that next episode. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I, I think I just killed the bird. Oh, no, I shot that. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please do remember, especially because it's episode one, clicking the like button, leaving a comment, etc. helps to promote the video in the YouTube algorithm. So it's especially important on episode one. If you want more people to see this, find my channel, etc., etc., allowing me to make more stuff. Clicking the like button, leaving a comment is the best way that you can do that. Thank you so much for sticking around. I apologize that I disappeared for like a month. Wasn't planned to, just, you know, one of those depression things that happens, but we don't talk about that. Anyway, because, you know, everything... Oh, by the way, you know what, I'll explain that later. Anyway, I keep going to explain things. I'm trying to end the episode here. Come on, brain. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around. And thank you so much to this month's patrons who are... The Meep Sheep, I am Scarecrow666, Justin Alexander, John Wilson, Dennis Hammer, Nickerin, Trent123, Bloodpire, Rex Burma, Wiener 1997, Luda Parker, Blackwolf8994, Miss Justice83, George Blackwell, Shadow Sephiroth 666, Billy Nine, Pedro Marquez, KP Shadow Squirrel, Loot Smoke Soldier, Philip Rep, Dr. Papa Penguin, and Hitbox. Thank you so much everyone, I'll see you next time.